skateboarding is going airborne. As a California startup has developed the first real world hoverboard. Last week, the Wikipedia entry for a hoverboard said that this was a fictional device. That was the first line. It doesn't say that anymore. Inspired by the Back to the Future films, Arx Pax's Hendo board uses magnetics to float about an inch off the ground. The 90 pound prototype is slow and easy to ride. Even this balance challenged reporter could handle it. Some people say it's like snowboarding. Some people say, you know, this is like how I imagine a hoverboard is supposed to be, which is kind of an interesting response because it's no one's ever ridden one before. The company is also offering developer kits so independent engineers can find new ways to use the technology. The technology can go in, in anything. Wherever there's a wheel, there's an opportunity. But there are a few catches to the current hoverboard technology. Right now, it only floats over metal surfaces, needs recharging after about 15 minutes, and it's not cheap. This Hendo prototype costs $10,000. But developers hope eventually hover parks will be built so anyone can rent one and get their float on.